hi i am back with another video I'm actually doing something super fun i'm going to make a punch needle like little coaster size rug for anna luisa new york they sent me some jewelry and so i'll tell y'all a little bit about them and their company show you the things that i got and i've been extensively punch needling for my tiktok shop for like the past month or two now and so i have gained some insight on it don't mind these books this is how i uh, project my stuff on my frame until I get a tripod for it. So let's just act like it's not there. May I take your order? So for these smaller punch needles, I actually used my scrap tufting cloth and I made this little addition to my smaller frame so I could do that. I just screwed that in there and then made sure my cloth was tight just as I would if I was tufting. Made sure I flipped my image and then I basically am just going to trace this up. I couldn't decide what logo I wanted to go with and so I'm doing both of these right here. Okay, so while I'm tracing this stuff up, let me tell you guys about this jewelry. So first of all, we got a matching ring with the double layered necklace and these super cute earrings. I don't know if you're familiar with Anna Luisa, but they pop up on my social media all the time. And basically they are known for being a sustainable brand that has affordable jewelry, but like it's elegant and dainty. And the most important thing to me, I feel like is that it's supposed to be tarnish resistant. And so I don't like to take my jewelry off. I wear it all the time. And obviously I do stuff like this in tough rugs. I take it off and put it back on. A lot of times I forget to put it back on. Um, my nose ring, forgot to put it back on. Anyways, the point is, I didn't take their word for it. I've been wearing this stuff for like three weeks straight and I've been wearing it to the gym and everywhere just to make sure, like, is it really tarnish resistant? And I did take up close images of everything and videos when I first got it to show y'all like the quality when it's in the packaging and like the packaging for it was super cute. They had like a magnetic clasp bag and it's like a little travel case. The double layered necklace even came in like one single pouch, but it was like two separate containers. So like it wasn't gonna get scratched and stuff like that. Moral of the story is, I don't know if you can tell, but like it hasn't tarnished. This obviously, this is like my real jewelry and it's held up really good. Now, like I said, it's only been three weeks. Um, I did go on and look and they have like a little, I guess zodiac pendants is what I would call it. Like little necklaces for like zodiac signs and stuff like that. I think they're on sale for like, I don't know, like 20 something dollars right now, which I think is like a pretty good price. And so I feel like to be able to find something online where I can just kind of like pick it out, get it sent to me. I know I don't have to take it off and it's going to work. I'm interested in that. I would love for them to make like body jewelry. I haven't looked to see if they do. I just realized because my camera is like facing me so I can see myself, it doesn't look like I flipped my image, but like I did. I just changed my camera angle. Anyways, they did give me a code that I put in the description box of this video. And I'll also link all of my tufting supplies and the punch needle supplies that I am using. I'm just using black and white big twist for these. I'm lying to you. I'm not using Big Twist. I'm using the Red Heart like Super Saver yarn and I'm not a fan of it. I don't know if anybody else has used it and doesn't like it, but I don't like it. Back to what we were talking about. Well, basically when you're tracing this, you're doing the same exact thing. I kind of just get like a rough outline going here because when you're punch needling, you are, I'll see if I can get you in here. There are uh, way the fabric is weaved, you're basically kind of like trying to follow these little squares around. And so I kind of make up the edge as I go. I follow this, but I make it up a little bit. And um, I try to look and make sure it's like forming an actual circle as opposed to like not staying cohesive in that weave pattern. Because if you don't, and then when you're waterfalling your edges, like you can kind of see it. 
I'll see if I can find one that I've done that with and put it up so you can see it here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna outline this all the way and then hop into starting our little punch needle guy. With our yarn, I just use one strand. And then we're good to go. I think again just like with tufting the most important tip i could give to you is to just take your time be patient go stitch by stitch and just remember that you can pull it out if you mess up I also just want to point out if you go to put your needle in and you get resistance don't shove the needle through because you'll tear your fabric just like reposition it okay here is what the back is looking like so far so if you are familiar with tufting I basically just tackle this how I would tufting if you just are looking for punch needle purposes I basically just keep the line going for as even and clean as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can if you can tell, I am gearing up for spooky season already. I booked an event in Ocala, Florida. So if you're gonna be there, it's September 22nd. Um, it's a punk rock flea market. Pretty excited about it. I'm going there and then I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights, so. Make sure you're keeping slack in your yarn or it's not gonna loop. You're gonna pull your loops out. We don't want that. So I always make sure before I start, I have lots of slack. I don't know how much you can tell, but I'm trying to just follow the like outer edge of my tracing. Um, cause a lot of times when you use like a Sharpie, for example, when it has a thicker tip on there, it will like cover more than one little cross. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know the proper terminology. I'm sorry. Um, but essentially this is like woven fabric, right? And so it covers like two lines, whereas your needle's only going to go into one square. Um, so I pick either the inner or the outer and then I just stay with that. Okay y'all, here's what it ended up looking like. They turned out so cute. Now I have little things to put my little jewelry on. Um, don't forget to hit that link in the description box so you can get 20% off at Ana Luisa. And I'll see you on the next video.